So there's a new game mode in Overwatch called Temp Next Balance Patch Final 23. It's it's great. It is fantastic. It's probably the biggest update Overwatch has ever received. Every single hero has a change. Every single hero has a new voice line with their ultimate, which is absolutely massive. They have to bring back all the voice actors. It is really a massive and high quality update with a ton of effort put into it. It is no joke and I'm super proud of Blizzard, which is weird to say, but I, but I am. I thought they'd just slap on the googly eyes. I, I wasn't even paying attention. I thought they'd slap on the googly eyes, call it a day and move on because that's what Blizzard's kind of been doing. But no, every hero's changed. Genji, right now I'm playing Genji. Look, 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 look. If I ask for healing, I heal myself. So I literally asked for healing and then it healed me. You can heal yourself as Genji by asking for healing. It's crazy. It is crazy. Every hero's changed. Uh, you can see on screen if you want to pause and read them all. I'll go through each one with gameplay in the background momentarily, but I want to give initial thoughts as well as a DBZ collab. Also, don't make fun of my uh, Hanzo gameplay, but look, look, look. I throw the sonar arrow. Look, look. They bounce and go down towards it. So cool. On top of that, Moira's ultimate, when she ults, um, she has a Dragon Ball Z reference, and it made me wonder if the next collaboration could possibly be with Dragon Ball Z. I mean, to straight up just reference something directly is not quite normal. You can always have a spin-off or your own take, but to straight up yoink a reference and just put it in as Moira's ultimate, got my eyebrow rising, you know, it, it rose. I think, <laughs> not gonna lie, I, 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 I actually think they might be the next collab, might be Dragon Ball Z. Which would be pretty cool. Which would be pretty cool. On top of which, a lot of people were saying this is what they believe Total Mayhem should be, and I kind of agree. It's a lot of fun. It's more fast paced. Maybe implement some parts of Total Mayhem. This should be a Total Mayhem patch. I'm not gonna lie. To me, it's way more fun, in my opinion. Maybe people want like top tier Total Mayhem, but this is like balanced almost. Not fully, but it's fun. It is so much fun. And I would love for Blizzard to do more because this is an event that was just pure fun. Like I wanna get on with my friends. I, I wanna mess around. I wanna try different team comps. I wanna experiment with what they have to offer and it's fun. Now it's not perfect. Uh, you can see some Tracer gameplay in the background right now. And for some reason, it says in her patch that recall, recall, if you recall, you bring your enemy with you or you pull in an enemy. It's not working. I don't know why. Either way, it's a lot of patch notes, so I'm going to try to speedrun them. Hero updates. All heroes have new ultimate voice lines. Keep 50% of your ultimate charge when swapping heroes. Tank roll passive. Gain ultimate charge 10% faster. The hero gets the final blow on a tank. Gains a significant amount of ultimate charge. Damage roll passive. Heal 50 health on elimination. Support roll passive. Gain 30 HP. Increase movement speed for 4 seconds when reaching low health. Lucio goes so fast with that, like so fast. All right, now let's go one by one. Doomfist can be empowered by power block. Damage increase from 50 to 75 when empowered. Enemies hit by shockwave are launched into the air. I show some Doomfist gameplay later. Bro, old Doomfist is back with this one. Diva, after deflecting a projectile, Defense Matrix deals 30 damage to enemies within its area of effect over one second. Defense Matrix killing blows grant an additional 5% alt charge. Junker Queen applies a bleed to enemies in range when activated. Orisa, while in the air, Javelin Spin pulls Orisa forward in her facing direction. Literally helicopter Orisa. <laughs> Literally. Fortify increases falling damage and deals damage in an area when Orisa lands on the ground. So she can literally slam into the ground. Everyone is so fun. Roadhog. The range hook increased by 50%. Literally, you can just hook from further, but you know what? We'll take it. We'll take it. Sigma. Ex <laughs> Exoration, which is his rock. Enemies hit by impact are knocked back and experience low gravity for four seconds. They experience low gravity. <laughs> Cooldown decreased from 10 to 8 seconds, so you can spam that faster. Winston. 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 That's all it says, but what they mean is when you throw down your shield, the bubble actually follows you. They just don't write it themselves because April Fools, perfectly fitting. From there we have Wrecking Ball, Grappling Claw. Maximum speed is temporarily increased when bouncing off walls. <laughs> minefield, mines slowly move towards nearby enemies. Literally the minefield slowly gravitates towards the enemies, it's so funny. Romatra, all right, um, Omnic form is disabled. Romatra is now always in Nemesis form, bonus armor decreased from 225 to 125 they're literally trying to balance it void barrier moved to ability one and then block now has one second cooldown when disengaged it literally just tank tank a galore tank galore reinhardt whoo his charge now grants flight hold jump to float up and crouch to go down steering increased by 33 percent you can literally fly at like a jet 
You fly like a jet as Reinhardt. That's all there is to say. Ash. Fire spread. So this is dynamite. Fire spreads to nearby enemies up to four times. Other than that, it also just kills you faster. I think if it has nowhere to spread, it goes on of, on top of yourself for X. I don't know. It melts. It melts. You'll see it in the footage. It melts you. Bashed in. While active, tactical grenade has a 0 0.5 second cooldown. Cassidy. Combat roll. Now costs regenerating stamina instead of having a cooldown. Dodge all damage when in combat roll. Ammo reloaded decreased from 6 to 2. Interesting. Fara, rocket launcher deals no self damage and has an increased knockback. Barrage, Fara can be knocked back while barrage is active. <laughs> barrage rockets now have self knockback. Hover jet, fuel decreased by 33%. Yeah, I tried Fara for a little bit. You can fly for so long. Reaper, movement is no longer locked after confirming a teleport location. You've been seeing that in the background. Echo, try shot, now fires two additional projectiles. Damage per projectile decreased from 17 to 12. Genji, sometimes Genji heals himself when requesting healing. I love this one. Hanzo, storm arrows ricochet towards the sonic arrow. Junkrat, drop grenades when launching yourself with a concuss mine. <laughs> Oh no, May! Ice Wall spawns more pillars and has slightly different configuration. Basically, it spawns in a U. The, the May Walls now spawn in a U. Sojourn! Power Slide now impacts enemies, dealing 75 damage, launching them upward and knocking them down for 1.5 seconds. Which just sounds really weird. Basically, pretend if you're sliding towards their feet, they go over you and then fall flat. They literally get hit up and then fall flat. Think like anime style, making a slide, like a slide power move. Amazing. Soldier 76 now attached the uh, bi biotic field while running. So you can heal, run, and shoot. It's kind of crazy. Sombra now deals 120 damage in an area at the teleport destination. Projectile speed increased from 25 to 40 and cooldown decreased from 10 seconds to 6 seconds. So basically you can throw the teleporter in a bunch of people and when you teleport into them, you do damage. It's kind of funny. Symmetra, Sentry Turret. Turrets can now target enemies while in fight. Turrets have 60% damage resistance before sticking to the terrain. Dorbjorn, Overload, now also causes Rivet Gun and Forge Hammer to ignite enemies, dealing 30 additional damage over time. It's crazy. This one's crazy. You do, you, you do so much fire damage. Tracer, pulls in nearby enemies when activated. Recall, that one's not working. Pulse Bomb, arming time increased from 1 to 2 seconds. Yeah, yeah, it takes forever for... Tracer felt so icky to play. So icky because the pulling pulling people back didn't work for assassinations. Super icky. Widowmaker. Widow's Kiss. Critical hits deal their damage over three seconds as poison. Widowmaker can now see poison enemies through wall. So meaning if I headshot someone, I can see them through the wall to continuously try to kill them, which is honestly pretty good. It's not the best one, but it's pretty good. Brigida. Brigida has pulled it towards the flail head. When you whip shot, you go towards it. <laughs> it's reverse. <laughs> Kiriko. Swift step. Range increased from 35 to 350 meters. Cooldown now scales with distance traveled. Yeah, so, dude. 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 You literally, fl you can teleport across the, wherever you want. You can teleport literally wherever you want. Lucio. Now deflects projectiles with sound wave and the cooldown decreased from 4 to 3 seconds. <laughs> It's a freaking barrier shield. Mercy! Ammo increased from 25 to 125. Projectile speed increased from 50 to 125. Ana! Uh, biotic rifle can now headshot enemies. So go ahead and headshot people. Baptiste! Exo boost. Jumping with exo boost has more horizontal distance scaling with the charge amount. Hold jump after using exo boost to keep bouncing. <laughs> Zenyatta, snap kick, launches Zenyatta in his facing direction when used in the air. It's literally a flying kick or a reverse kick. And those are all the patch notes. Go ahead and play, play with your friends. Like try to do a slam doom fist, get someone into the air and then Reinhardt fly and pin them because you can literally play whatever you want. That's the type of gameplay you're about to have. Go have fun, hope you guys enjoyed.